Well, I had my butter butternut squash, which they tell me makes very nice soup. So that's what I'm going to try to do. The outside skin was much tougher than I thought, and it needs a uh, a, a very sharp knife and uh, needs great care in doing it. Now the first thing I've got to do is to scoop out the seeds from the uh, inside of the uh, squash because I don't want those in my soup and um, then I am going to um, I'm going to bake it uh, so that the uh, the squash is uh, soft so I can then manipulate it to make my soup. So I'm going to uh, wrap these in foil and uh, put them in the oven to bake them until the uh, centre is as soft as I need it to be. I have no idea how long this is geriatric cooking so uh, nothing is very precise but I'll have a look from time to time until I'm satisfied that the the inner squash is is soft so I can then um, take that out and blend it with some milk and make it into hopefully a very nice soup Right, well, they took rather longer than I expected to cook, but they have now been baked, and I have scraped out the flesh from the uh, from the skins, and I have um, blended it with a um, a little full cream milk, and although salt is not uh, too much salt's not good for you. Um, a little bit of salt brings out the flavour in most things so uh, I don't want it to be too thick at the moment because I'm going to add another liquid ingredient later. Uh, people tell me that pumpkin goes very well with it which I'm sure it does but uh, I didn't have a pumpkin so I'm going to use uh, something else. So I've added my uh, carrot soup I mean, this is geriatric cooking, as long as the ingredients are, um, are sound, uh, bung it all in, and you never know, you might uh, discover a recipe nobody's ever thought of. So, i have uh, bringing that to the boil and stirring all the time. I've added a little more milk, just to get to the consistency that I personally like, but uh, uh, how thick or thin you want it is, of course, your choice. So there's my lovely bowl of butternut squash and carrot soup, uh, thin to the consistency that I like and that would be delightful if served with a crusty uh, garlic bread, but I don't have any garlic bread, but I do have uh, garlic croutons. You could make those yourself, of course, but uh, much easier to buy them. And some people like to have the croutons uh, cooked with the um, with the soup or softened with the soup. But I like the crunchy uh, crunchiness of them, so that's my choice. And um, there is my uh, beautiful bowl of soup.